What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel, and in this video, we are going to talk about the width scope function. So right now I'm still on where we were in the last video talking about the run scope function. And similar to our other videos, we are going to copy over this Homer fictional person because we are going to use it in our example of the width scope function. First, let's come over here to our project we will create a new file and it will be called with. We'll close out of the run. We will minimize this, zoom in a bit. We'll create our main function and then we'll just paste in our Homer fictional character or fictional person rather. We'll get into it. So similar to the last one, we have our print line with Homer just so we can see what it looks like. And then this is going to be a case where things will change up just a little bit. And so it's the width function. You'll notice that we're calling it here as opposed to it being an extension function like the run and let scope function. And so we say with Homer and then we have the this object reference. And then for here we can just say address dot uh, state equals Illinois address dot zip code equals 62629 and then we can do our print line again for Homer we come up here we click the run icon and you'll see the first one is Homer living in Springfield Oregon and then the second one is Homer living in, in Illinois. Now, typically you don't, or I at least haven't seen the width function reference kind of in the same function that it's being used in. And so in this case, what you would most likely see would be something like fun. And let's just say move to Illinois. And we have fictional person here. And then you can set it equal to width and we can say fictional person and then we'll just copy in these values and then instead of saying with Homer here we'll just say move to Illinois Homer and then similar to our run function so our move to Illinois function we will say fictional person dot address just to set the this object reference to address instead of fictional person and then again, we can, oops, we can remove address here because we, it's, it's already referenced as the um, object within the width scope function. And then we have state again, zip code, all of that. We go ahead, we run this, and we should see the same values here, which, which we do. So I'm not going to go through um, Marge in the same way that, that we have in the other ones. Uh, but what I will do, I, I'll still uh, copy Marge over just from another, another file that we have. And then over here, let's say I want to not use move to Illinois, Marge. With our with scope function, you'll notice that we can't do that because Marge is a nullable fictional person. Move to Illinois expects it to be a fictional person. You know, we could do a double bang and just say, no, 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 Marge can't be null. There's no way. It's not really the best idea though. And so the with scope function where I like to use it is really when I have a function like this, I want to extract some functionality where I already know that it's not going to be null and kind of run with it from there. Now we could say that fictional person can be nullable and then we could say well then this address can be nullable and then let's see I mean we could do like if this does not equal null then run that code and then it'll it'll run uh, we can do our print line, Marge, and then that code will run. But having this, if this does not equal null, do something else, blah, 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 that's, that's very Java-like. 
So if you get into a situation where you have these null checks and everything, sometimes it can be a good sign that maybe you want to use a different scope function. Maybe you don't want to use the width scope function. But again, at the same time, where I found the width function to work really nicely is when you have a null or non-null value and all you're doing is you just want to be able to quickly change the values to something else or you want to map them to some other value type. That is where we are going to end off with this video. Um, I'm just gonna update that real quick. Uh, just to kind of do a recap though, the with scope function, it is pretty similar to the run scope function, but the, the difference is that you call the with function like you would a normal function, whereas with the run scope function, you call that on the object itself. So you call it on, you know, marge, question mark, run, as opposed to just calling the width function. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of these videos. Uh, we ha still have to talk about the also and apply scope functions, which will be coming up pretty soon. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.